Oh, don't worry. It was just a dream. You just dream about earthquakes and mountains. Do you want to know how mountains are formed and earthquakes happen? Okay. Do you have a jigsaw puzzle? Okay. Bring that jigsaw puzzle and start solving it. Hello. What are you doing? Ah, you're making a jigsaw puzzle. I love those. Wow, that's amazing. You can put the whole puzzle together. No wonder you're so happy. Do you know that our Earth is really like a jigsaw puzzle? <laughs> well, it is. Would you like to know more about it? The Earth we see is like this globe, round like a ball and full of land and water. But beneath all this land and ocean, there's a big hidden jigsaw puzzle. Did you know that the inside of the Earth is made of hot molten rock called mantle? The crust we live on floats on top of this mantle. However, Earth's crust is not a single continuous solid land. In fact, it is broken in many pieces, like a jigsaw puzzle. These parts of the Earth's crust are called tectonic plates. Oh, I didn't mean dinner plates. Tectonic plates are huge, huge pieces of Earth on which the continents and oceans are made. Very good. It's quite like that. Remember, the jigsaw pieces that make up the Earth's crust are called tectonic plates. These plates keep floating, but not on water. They float on the hot molten inner layers of the Earth. Oh, we're not going anywhere soon, my friend. The tectonic plates move, but very slowly. Their speed is way slower than the growth of your fingernails. Ouch! Oh, don't be so sad. Even though tectonic plates move very slowly, this slow movement creates the world as we know it. It can also sometimes cause a lot of havoc and problems. Don't believe me? The whole landscape around us is a result of the movement of tectonic plates. This movement can cause earthquakes, volcanoes, mountains, and trenches. Let me explain in detail. Land features such as mountain formations and events such as earthquakes happen due to the continuous movement of the tectonic plates. As these plates keep moving around the Earth's surface, they shape our world. As the tectonic plates move, they collide with each other. The plates can collide in many ways. Sometimes, when two tectonic plates move towards each other, one of them is forced downwards. This is called subduction. Yet sometimes when they push against each other, they are both crumpled. This is called uplift. You'll be surprised to learn that this is how the Himalayas were formed. So you see, the slow movement of tectonic plates can create something as huge as Mount Everest. This movement also creates one of the biggest natural disasters of the world. At times, the tectonic plates collide sideways. This is called the transform movement. Whoa! We were in an earthquake just now. You did the right thing by running out of your home into the open. It's safer to be outdoors during an earthquake. Do you want to know why earthquakes happen? First, tell me how do tectonic plates collide with each other? Correct. Now, sometimes the plates get locked together while moving. Naturally, this happens at the plate boundaries, where two different tectonic plates meet. These boundaries are called fault lines. As the plates try to move, a lot of friction and stress builds up. Eventually, when the blockage gives way, this stored energy is released. The point beneath the Earth's surface where it is all stored is called the hypocenter. When the released energy reaches the surface, we feel the Earth shaking. This is an earthquake. The point on the surface which is directly above the hypocenter is known as the epicenter. An earthquake is strongest at the epicenter. Well, you learned a lot about our Earth today. Do you remember it? You remember what tectonic plates are, right? Oh, well. Do you remember what we learned about the mountains? And what did you understand about the earthquakes? Well, at least now you know the connection between tectonic plates, mountains, and earthquakes. Uh, or maybe not.